Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. If your oven's overheating and it's burning or charring food, there's most likely a problem with the temperature sensor, a failed heating element, or a faulty control board. In this episode, first we'll learn how it all works, and then we'll troubleshoot and test each component with a multimeter. Let's get started. The electric ovens are pretty simple at a base level. After the temperature is set, the control board sends 120 volts through both sides of the heating elements. Once the oven is preheated, the control board monitors the temperature sensor. It'll cycle the heating elements on and off to maintain the cooking temperature. Now if the temperature sensor is faulty, then the control board will misinterpret the temperature and will overcompensate. Additionally, if an element has shorted to ground, it will complete the circuit through the oven frame. A shorted element might stay on even when the element should be cycled off. The oven control board can also cause overheating. If one of the relay contacts are stuck closed, it can also cause the element to stay on. Keep in mind, there is some variation between models, and not all ovens will have the same parts. You can enter your model number on the Aimer Supply website to see a parts breakdown. This can be helpful to show you which parts are in your oven and where they are located. To begin, you might need a screwdriver, a nut driver, gloves, and a multimeter. Always be safe and disconnect the power at the breaker. Since there might be some sharp edges, it's best to wear cut-resistant gloves. Gently pull the range slightly away from the wall. As soon as there's enough room, go in behind and unplug it from the receptacle. Make sure that there isn't too much tension on the cord. Now, slide the range all the way out so you have plenty of room to work. On the back of the oven is a cover panel. Some models have a small panel near the top and a larger panel near the bottom. Now, remove the screws. The panel will likely be sitting on several hooks. Simply lift up to remove the panel. Locate the sensor on the back of the oven. It's usually near the broil element off to either side. Now disconnect the wires. Next, set the multimeter to the resistance setting and adjust the range if needed. Oven sensors are heat sensitive resistors, also known as thermistors. These sensors have a different resistance at different temperatures. At room temperature, you should get a resistance of around 1100 ohms. If the reading is significantly off and is under 1000 or over 1200 ohms, then the sensor is faulty and should be replaced. As well, if there is no resistance and no continuity, then the sensor should also be replaced. Some models will have sensors mounted from inside the oven. Other models will be accessed from the back. Simply remove the screw to replace the sensor. Align the new sensor and tighten the screw. Then, reconnect the wires. To test the heating elements for short, first locate the element and disconnect the wires. Set your multimeter to 1000 ohms or higher and test from one of the element terminals to the bare metal of the oven's body. Note this will not work on a painted surface. 
If you get any continuity reading, then the element is shorting and will also need to be replaced. The heating element can be unscrewed from inside the oven. You can learn how to do this in the video linked below. Now if both elements are good, then reconnect the wires and move on to the next test. If you have eliminated all other problems and the oven is still overheating, then it could be a problem with the control board. First, do a visual inspection of the board. If you see any charred or blackened spots, then it's a good sign that there's a failed component or short circuit in the board. If you had a power surge recently, then that could be the cause. As well, double check that all the wire connectors are secure, as a loose connection can prevent power from going to where it's needed. Overall, these boards are pretty simple to replace, but are non-returnable after installation. So if you're not sure that the control board is faulty, it's best to call a professional. Align the back panel and replace the screws. Now plug in the cord and push the range back into place. Next, reconnect the power. Now you can test your oven. For more troubleshooting videos on water heaters, furnaces, and appliances, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit our name relocation to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.